when it comes to the Quran, the recitation of the Quran, we must keep in mind an niyyah, the intention. And this is a reminder to myself first and foremost, uh, in the sense that, you know, sometimes when it comes to the recitation of the Quran, we will, one may try to recite to get some praise from the people. So, you know, you record a clip, you put it online, you check in to see how many likes and comments and views you've got. Um, or you recite in an event and a few people praise you. But this praise will happen for a few seconds, for a few minutes. And if you recited the Quran for this intention, and as I say, this is a reminder to myself first and foremost, if we recite the Quran for this intention, then yes, we'll get the worldly benefit, which is them few seconds or few people knowing you. Irrelevant people, people are generally irrelevant. And they'll, they'll praise you and they'll forget about you and they'll slew you a few days later. So, you know, for all of that, you missed out on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the angels writing, you know, these rewards for you. Every person that listened to your recitation, you know, you get the reward for you reciting and for everyone listening as well. For this small pleasure, you know, people, people just praising you for a few things, you've sacrificed that eternal reward which will last on the day of judgment. Uh, so we ask, Nasallahu al-Qubula wal-Ikhlas.